husband in a positive way, she will remember that a quiet and mild spirit is of great value in the eyes of God, not in the eyes of her husband. What if the husband is not a believer? Believer, well, whether he is not a believer, the spirit, the scriptures encourage wives to love their husbands, to love their children, to be in sound in mind and chastity workers at home. Good subjections themselves to their other to their own husbands, so that the word of God may not be spoken of abusively. If matters of consciousness comes up, an unbeliever husband is more likely to respect his wife's position it is, if it is pre presented with a mild, a mild temper and a deep respect. Some unbelieving husbands have been won without a word through the conduct of their wives because of having been eyewitness of their chastest, con their chastest conduct. Together with deep respect, what if a husband asks his wife to do something forbidden by God? If that happens, she must remember that God is her primary ruler. She takes in an example what the apostles did when they were asked by the authority to violate God's law. Acts. Peter and the other apostles said we must obey God as the ruler of their man. Okay. Love. Okay. Good communication. Love and respect are essentials in another area of marriage. Communicator, communication. Communication. The loving husband and com the loving husband will converse with the wife about her activities, her problems, her views on various matters. She needs this. A husband who takes the time to speak with his wife and really listens to what she says demonstrates the love and respect for her. Some view some wives complain that their husband spend very little time conversating with them. That is sadly true in these busy times. Husbands may work long hours outside the home and economical situations may result in some wives holding a job also, but a marriage couple needs to reserve time for each other. Otherwise, they may become independent on each other. If it could lead to serious problems, if they felt compelled to seek sympathy, com companionship outside the marriage arrangement. The way wives and husbands communicate is important. Pleasant, pleasant sayings are sweet to the, sound, the soul and healing to the bone. Whether a mate is a believer or not, the Bible compels, applies, let your other, otherness be a way with gather, gatherness, graciousness. graciousness, seasons with salt. That is in good taste. When one has had a difficult day, a few kind sympathy words from one, one's mate can do much good. As apples of gold and silver car carvings. Prop, carvings. carvings is a good spoken at the right time for it. The tone of voice and the chronicles of words are very important for example in the irritate, demonstrate, demanding Man. manner. One may tell the other, shut the door, but how much more seasoned with salt are the words said in the calm, understanding voice? Would you mind closing the door, please? Good communication flourishes when there are generally spoken words, gracious looks and gestures, kindness, understanding, and tenderness by working hard to maintain good communication. Both husband and wife will feel to make their needs known, and they can be sources of comfort to help each other in times of disappointment or stress. Speak consolingly to the depressed souls, urges God's words. There will be times when the husband is downhearted and times when the wife is. They can speak consolingly, building each other up. Marriage partners manifesting love and respect will not see every disagreement as a challenge. They will work hard not to be bitterly angry with each other. Both should remember that an answer with mine turns away rage. Be careful not to belittle or condemn a mate who pours out heartfelt feelings. Instead, 
view such expression as an opportunity to gain insight into the other's viewpoint. Together, try to work our differences and come to a harmonious conclusion. Recall the occasion when Sarah recommended to her husband Abraham a solution to a certain problem, and it did not coincide with his feeling, yet God told Abraham, listen to her voice. Abraham did, and he was pleased, and he was blessed. Similarly, if a wife suggests something different from what her husband has in mind, he should at least listen. At the same time, a wife should not dominate the conversation, but should listen to what her husband has to say, for either the husband or the wife to insist on his or her own way all the time is unloving and disrespectful. Good communication is also important. Oh, disrespectful and unloving. Is also important in a couple's sexual relationship. Selfish and a lack of self-control can seriously damage this most intimate relationship in a marriage. Open communication, along with patience, is essential. When each unselfishly seeks the well-being of the other, sex is rarely a serious problem. In this, as in other matters, let each one keep seeking, not his own advantage, but that of the other person. What fine counsel will God will offer? True, every marriage will have its ups and downs. But when spouses submit to Jehovah's thinking, as revealed in the Bible, and base the relationship on the principle of love and respect, they can be confident that their marriage will be a lasting and happy marriage. They thus will honor not only each other, but also the originator of marriage, Jehovah God. Okay, let me go get you.